Hi, it's Bill West with BarbecueTricks.com with the lowdown on how to rotisserie roast a turkey. All right, it's the same kind of deal for a chicken, but you need just a little more space. I've got a pretty big bird here. I'm uh, demoing about a 15-pound turkey. And the first thing I'm going to say is wash your hands. Wash all your utensils, the cutting board, everything. Get everything really clean. You're dealing with poultry and you don't want to deal with any bacteria. Uh, use hot soapy water. And I got to say, there's just something about a rotisserie turkey it's something to rave about and there's only about four ingredients you first start with a clean bird and then you rub it with basically a house seasoning rinse that chicken inside and out with cold water get the giblets and excess uh, funk out of the inside you can prepare those if you want I don't really use them for barbecue maybe for crab bait here in South Carolina but not for barbecue pat the chicken dry inside it out using a paper towel uh, then get the spice rub, about two tablespoons kosher salt, half a tablespoon fresh ground black pepper, and I actually like to grind it, uh, half a tablespoon garlic powder, and half a tablespoon paprika for some color. That's the basic house seasoning. Then rub it inside and out of that bird generously. Uh, I'm trying not to put too much salt inside, but you can put it underneath the skin all the way. I mean, th this one's pretty big. You can use a lot all the way inside underneath the skin you can actually get down to the legs as well this whole process it's what I call getting to poultry third base get it underneath the skin because the skin's basically a wetsuit it's not gonna get spice from the outside of the skin in so get it underneath you can rub some on the outside and if you want to even inject it my trick is to inject from the inside of the cavity into the meat so you don't disfigure the skin at all All right, my big rotisserie tip is make sure before you even put the chicken or turkey on the spit, mark the location of the grill's burner with two marks on the spit. I use a, I use a Sharpie permanent marker just so you know where the center point is, where the meat's going to be cooking on the, the, the heat. Simple as that. You mark the center point before you even get started because it's hard to move around later. You can find rotisseries made for both gas or charcoal grills. Follow your manufacturer's directions, of course. The biggest thing is you want to make sure it rotates freely on the spit. You want it to spin around in a nice balanced way. You may have to truss the legs in. I try if I if I if I can not to have to truss it. I'll actually skewer it in with the end clamps of the wing tips and the legs if possible and really clamp it up tight so it's a nice compact mass and rotates smoothly and of course this turkey is pretty big i had to remove the grill grates and uh, actually the little covers of the gas burners on the bottom to make it spin around we're not actually using some flame off of these burners so that's fine it doesn't really matter um, again after you have it uh, rotating on the hot heat it's hard to adjust so use pliers and secure the thumb screws pretty good you don't want any end to slide off as I've had it do before that's not fun you can add some water to the drip pan or sometimes you, I like to actually add a bunch of uh, root vegetables uh, in the pan and let those roast along with the bird. That's kind of fun too. Basically, you just let it roll. Check it at the beginning after about 15 minutes before you leave it unattended for too long and make sure that it's all going good. It's not going to loosen up or shake loose. And then just let it roll. Roll that beautiful bird footage. For a medium sized chicken, you know, one I tried was about four and a half to five pounds. That took about two hours of cooking on this. Uh, grill gas. This is a 15 pounder and all said and done it took about five hours. But check it when it gets golden brown keep checking with a good meat thermometer. Let it get to about 160 degrees. It'll come up a little bit more once it rests but 160 degrees in the thickest part of the thigh or the breast. It is hot on that hot skewer so use gloves and set it aside on a cutting board to rest. You'll also know when it's done, when the legs loosen up like this. Take a look. It's just nothing like the skin from a rotisserie roasted bird. Look at that. Set that aside here. And uh, that's it. Hey, if you can, subscribe on YouTube. Support this channel. We appreciate it. And if you want more rotisserie roasted turkey or chicken tips, head to the website. 
for all the tips, tricks, and other fun stuff, it's always at www.barbecuetricks.com.